We have a full Panasonic system which includes um, all the cameras at the blocks and all the MVRs etc that come with it. So we have 380 cameras in total and we cover 17 of our high-rise blocks. Before the CCTV system was installed, it was foot patrols that would monitor the blocks every night and it would be a maximum of two patrols per night. That meant they weren't really catching anything. With having this recording 24 hours a day, it actually means that we can catch more and be reactive. The motion cameras work on a spot activation. The red lights flash up on the screen and alert us to something, whereas before it's a case of patrolling through. So the audio is a, a great tool really and it allows us to deal with things right there and then. An example where we used it recently was where we had a youth in a block causing a bit of vandalism. We got onto the audio and said, can you please move on from the area? The police had been notified. It legged it before you could say boo. There's been a huge reduction in vandalism. There was quite a lot of that throughout a few of our blocks. Also fly tipping, um, that's a huge one for us in terms of people throwing out sofas. It's made our working day a lot easier because if we find something in the block that wasn't there on our previous patrol, we can contact the CCTV centre and get them to look for who's responsible. Over a th three month period, it's paid itself back socially. Less police, less ambulance visits, less visits to the doctors, people feel safer. It's not just for Walsall Housing Group, it is for the people of Walsall. This is a great example of where we worked in partnership with the police to actually get a result. There was a chap that supposedly robbed a car. The police came and said, look, we think he was there. He was saying he was at the pub up the road. So we had a look through our footage and we managed to pull up the, a chap in a red top and a straw hat. The police were actually able to use that footage to aid in a prosecution. We saw a young girl, um, a, a partner was dragging her into the property, so there's a domestic abuse, we saw that. We found the police, that was dealt with, and that female was, um, you know, safe, safe and well. This system isn't actually just about preventing crime or antisocial behaviour, it actually has benefits for our customers in terms of safety, in terms of actually just keeping an eye out for them. Some residents have spoken to us and expressed how grateful they are that it's there because they feel much more secure with the knowledge that someone is watching what's happening with the blocks. Before we were having a lot of problems with people breaking in and, you know, drugs and all stuff. When we didn't really feel safe, we used to have the one or two come in and sleep on the stairwells, but we don't get any of that now. You can sleep at night, you know, you do really feel a lot safer and happier. Whereas now we've got all these cameras and the securities, you know, fantastic. I wouldn't move anywhere else. We feel really, really safe.